Yep, righto, Harry. Yep, OK, gotcha. See ya. Ray Beck said you'd give good odds at today's meet at Flemington. Ray Beck ain't worth a toss. Don't bring idiots like this in here again. Hey, look, I'm, wait, I, I, I need to place a few bets, and I'm guessing Ray owing you money's left a bit of a hole. What do you know about Beck? That he died. <laughs> Real shame. Must have been someone annoying. Ray dying owing you money. You talk too much. Hello. Ah, oh, yeah. Spring flutter? Okay, mate. Yep, see look, ya. I'd, I'd like to take a piece of that action, if I may. A spring flutter for a win in the fourth. Twenty to one. Five pound. And uh, landed gentry in the sixth for a place. Five pound. Sixteen to one. Good. I guess it's not really in your interests to kill someone if they owe you money. Sterling silver in the ninth. Winner on place, five pound. You kill them, you don't get your money back, do you? Well, it depends. I need to set an example. And how would you do that exactly? <laughs> <laughs> would you ever use a snake to make an example of someone? Who is this guy, boss? I've no idea, Morris. But he's lucky. But he's lucky you got a sense of humour. <laughs> You've probably got less than five seconds to tell me exactly what you want. Right, well, when you put it that way, I'd, please, I just... I just need to find out more about Ray Beck. Nothing about you. Oh, why didn't you say so? Rubbish punter. He owed me 200 quid. And he's lucky I didn't get to him first. <laughs> Pretty boy. Apparently, the bloke couldn't keep it in his pants. <laughs> Paul Vanderburg? Yeah, in the flesh. They're going to help you. Detective Freeman from Buchanan. Ah. Take a seat. There. I was in the game myself for 20 years. Stress got to me. Ah. So, what can I do you for? Uh, Jacob Dennis, Mr. Vandenberg. Ah, missing person. Not anymore. Homicide. You're kidding me. Why would anyone want to whack Jacob Dennis? We were hoping he might be able to tell us. Well, I'd love to. But there is a little thing called client confidentiality. Alicia Groves gave us your name. She's keen to clear her, so she's got no problems with you being candid. You can call her if you like. Uh, <laughs> I'll take a risk. Not a whole lot to tell, though. I'll get the file. Uh, not exactly a telephone book. All right. Uh, well, Jacob uh, took off about three months ago with all their money and a brand new babe. You got a name for the new girlfriend? No. Nah. Did all the usual checks at the time. Uh, spoke to his workmates and come up with a big fat zero. It doesn't look like you went through a hell of a lot of shoe leather. <laughs> well, take a look around. I'm a one-man shop here. Most of my cases are insurance jobs. That's a bugger trying to find anyone who doesn't want to be found. So I gave it two weeks. What did you tell Alicia Groves? Exactly that. I advised her not to throw good money after bad. I felt sorry for the kid. Told her Jacob was a dickhead and she's better off without him. Did you uncover anyone with a grudge against him? Someone you thought was a bit sus? Anyone make my cop radar go bing? <laughs> nah, sorry. If you think of anything, you'll be the first to know. Hey, Frank. Benny. I'll be with you in a second. No worries. Oh, good old boy. What's your name, man? Eh? It's a bitch. Yeah. You behave, wanker. <laughs> good old wanker. Hey, you're a friendly young lass, aren't you? <laughs> hey, mate, if you like it, you can have her for a hundred bucks, eh? No, mate. Last thing I need is a dog. Mate, this is a greyhound. A greyhound. What about fifty bucks? Come on. No, mate. I got more than I can cope with. Bloody troublemaker. Mrs. Don't like this one. 
That's why I've got to bring her down to pub to keep the bloody peace. Mate, she really likes you. I can tell. You sure you don't want her? You sure? No, 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 no. What about 25? She'll make a bloody good watchdog. 25 bucks, mate. Come on. Please yourself. Cheers, Frankie. Yeah. Come on, you useless bastard. Sorry. The Russians. And our future allies. The Americans. We live in perpetual hope. I'm not much of a pants man, David. Never have been. This war seems to have flushed out some gorgeous bloody women. No more <laughs> you, um, you wanted to ask me a favour? Sorry, Colonel. Oh, yes, um... <clears throat> Actually, it's, a, it's about my brother. Yes, you might remember him. He was... Um... I'm sorry, would you excuse me just for one moment? Oh, surely. Still checking it out, but so far it looks like Kemp had nothing to do with Harwell getting arrested. Then who? Apparently Harwell was dealing. Cops have been looking at him for a while. That's very messy. They didn't give him bail. So it must involve large quantities. You obviously needed him? I do. I've got a job on. What sort of job? You don't need to know that. Look, I've heard you got a business helping high-profile crims leave the country. I'm just letting you know that um, you know, if you need me, here I am. That's all. Nick, wait. I've got a client, one Joseph Carter. Pretty big fish. The jailbreak was all over the news. I'm supposed to be moving him out of the country. The thing is, I was going to use my boat. Your boat? <laughs> well, that thing's got a range on it of, what, a couple of hundred miles? Where are you taking him? You're better off not knowing the details. Except for this. I need a pilot, and one with special talents. Right now, Dale Kemp is looking like my only option. I oh, know, I'd strongly advise against that. I know, I know. But I might have to take a chance. Oh, there's got to be some other way. I still don't trust that clown. I think he's too stupid to be trying to set me up. I want to find out if he knows his stuff. Check him out. And I mean carefully. If he is who he says he is, call him, set up a meeting. Yeah, but, you know... Nick, just do it. It's out of the question. We can't... I've been through your brother's file. I'm sorry, there's no chance. In fact, strictly speaking, he should be out of the army altogether. Was there ever any chance? Well, maybe back in 40, but then he would have been with the 8th in Malaya. God knows what's happened to those poor beggars. We've all heard about the atrocities being committed on the Burma Siam Railway. You wouldn't want to wish that sort of fate on your brother, would you? It's better be bloody important. Eight, fifteen, and seventeen on that one. <clears throat> so bloody what? They're Flanagan, Sumners, and Bow's phone numbers, Marty. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing ringing them? Are you serious? <laughs> uh, what do you want me to say? Well, you better say something that convinces Detective Jewel back there. Because he thinks you masterminded this whole fucking thing. So what you think, kid? Christ, you blokes have got the bloody mastermind. Flanagan. I admit I rang this stupid bastard up. He was going through some bloody issues. As for Sumner, Christ, anyone in my office could have bloody rang him. Yeah, I hear you, Hal. I... Yeah, but Hal, Hal, listen. Hal, listen. He was just acting on instructions. 
No, no, not mine, Jesus. What do you take me for? Look, hell, hell, look, look. Leave it with me and I'll get right back to you, okay? And say hi to that gorgeous missus. See ya. You need to have a look at this? Yeah, sir. <sighs> Fuck me, dead. Get Bruiser down here and tell him to bring that piece of shit fingers with him. Hey, Kels. What are instructions? To the letter. What? We're now supposed to tell the clients what they can and can't do? What about selling the day after you ramp the share price? Maybe they had redemptions. And the big blocks of shares traded after market close? Instructions. No one lodging a substantial shareholder notice for owning over 5%. You have bought 20 fucking percent for Christ's sake. Look, the way I understand it, it's a bunch of like-minded individuals and no one owns more than 4%. Like-minded individuals. Yep. All reckon Jupiter Mining is a good investment. Reach the conclusion all by themselves. How many are we talking about? Probably six. Six. Six like-minded individuals. That's it. Look, uh, ASIC will see you. How's Wednesday? Should be okay. Hang on a sec. Got a gym session at 12, so how's early morning or after lunch? You'll be there, 9 o'clock on the bloody knocker, right? Sure. He's a lying piece of shit. What about his phone recordings? You know, we stopped doing that after Jock's anti-Semitic tirade made the press. He mainly uses his mobile phone anyway. He's got a diary, sure he's made some bloody notes or something. Well, he doesn't seem to write anything down. He's dodgy. Can you remind me why we hired him? <laughs> They'll pay for your bloody bonus. Oh. You know what I really like about him? Mm -hmm. Sweet fuck all. <laughs>